passive SI, is it weak? Is it cowardly? Is it is it pathetic? Because a lot of people said this in the comments of my last video on passive SI. And there were, there were kind of two reasons people thought this. One, some people fell into this camp of like, I should be able to enjoy life. So is the fact that I cannot enjoy my life and I feel this way all the time, is that weakness? Other people kind of went the other route and said like, am I weak because I don't have active SI? Am I weak because I hate my life and I don't enjoy the way I feel, but I don't feel like I can really do anything about it? Is that weakness? I don't believe either of them are. And I can give you a very, very simple visualization exercise to demonstrate why. Picture your SI thoughts or feelings. Picture them as like an animal. So what animal in the animal kingdom do you feel like accurately represents the intensity and the power of these thoughts? Maybe it's a grizzly bear, let's say. Next, I want you to visualize the tools you feel like you've been given to manage this SI to fight against this monster or or beast or whatever it is. How well do you feel like the support people in your life and the world in general have equipped you to deal with this feeling? Maybe your answer to that is like a plastic knife. Like it, it feels like I, I don't really know. I don't really have the tools to fight against this. No one's ever really helped me with this. And the third thing I want you to consider is how long have you been fighting this battle? How long have you had passive SI? Maybe not every day, but on and off at least. Let's say it's 20 years. So keep all those three things in mind. The, the avatar of your passive SI, the tool you have to fight against it, and how long you've been doing that. Now I want you to imagine that you are driving home today and you see a person who kind of looks like you on the side of the road fighting a grizzly bear with a plastic knife. So ridiculous, right? But also amazing. Like if you saw that, your jaw would drop. You would be in utter amazement of what you're seeing, right? So imagine that you stop and you say, what is this? What is happening? Like, like A, how are you not dead? B, how did this happen? What is going on here? And this person who's valiantly defending themselves from this grizzly bear with this plastic knife says, oh, this? I've been here for 30 years. How in awe of that person would you be? Because that person is you. That's what you've been doing. 